Every year, Apple sells more than 230 million iPhones worldwide, which equates to more than seven iPhones sold every second and generates daily profits exceeding $300 million. But have you ever wondered how an iPhone is actually manufactured? Why are they the most expensive smartphone brand on the planet? Well, today we will travel to Zhengzhou, China, also known as iPhone City, the largest iPhone factory on the planet, a place so gigantic that it employs more than 300,000 people and produces up to half a million iPhones a day. So get ready, because you are about to discover step-by-step step how one of the most desired devices in the world is mass-produced. Let's begin. Step number one, design and materials. Everything starts with the design of the iPhone. Each new version of this iconic smartphone takes about a year to develop, and its launch is almost always scheduled for the month of September, following the calendar that Apple maintains year after year. To create it, a team of engineers and designers works tirelessly, experimenting with materials, polishing every curve of the phone, defining the exact position of the cameras, the battery, the internal components, and even the final color of each model. They use 3D printing technology to create physical prototypes, testing combinations over and over again until they find the perfect one. In fact, a single iPhone can go through more than 100 prototypes before being approved. That implies months of adjustments, redesigns, and tests until everything fits with absolute precision. Once the design is approved, the parts are planned. Did you know that each iPhone is made up of more than 1,400 different components? And all of them must fit inside an ultra-thin body of barely 8 millimeters thick. Simply impressive. And the most amazing thing is that each component comes from a different place. The chips and processors arrive from Taiwan and the United States, while the screen glass and cameras are manufactured in Japan and Korea. All these pieces travel thousands of kilometers to meet at a single point, the factory. And now that the design is ready and the materials have arrived, it's time to get everything going and manufacture hundreds of thousands of iPhones a day. Let's go there! Step number two, assembling the screen. With the design approved and all the parts ready, one of the most delicate phases of the entire process begins, the assembly of the screen. Apple uses ultra-high resolution OLED panels, capable of displaying millions of colors with such impressive brightness and sharpness that they even exceed 4K resolution. When these screens arrive at the factory, the first thing is to ensure that they are in perfect condition. For this, they pass through automatic sensors and precision cameras that detect any defect, no matter how small, a scratch, a bubble, or even a single dead pixel. And if anything is detected, that screen is discarded immediately. After passing the quality control, the screens advance along the assembly line, where robotic arms clean them and apply an invisible protective layer that helps prevent fingerprints and marks. Then, a specialized machine places an adhesive film on the back of each panel, which will allow it to be attached to the iPhone body without moving even a millimeter. Next, each screen is precisely aligned on the phone's frame. Optical sensors and lasers verify that it is perfectly centered, without errors. Although it seems like a meticulous process, the machines are so perfected that they can assemble more than 600 screens per minute, a speed and precision that would be impossible to achieve by hand. And although almost this entire process is automatic, operators supervise each stage and perform final visual inspections to ensure that everything is perfect before continuing with the assembly. And so, with the screen perfectly assembled, the iPhone is already beginning to take shape. But the most important thing still needs to be integrated, the motherboard and all those tiny internal components that make it work. Step number three, assembling the motherboard and internal components. With the screen already assembled, it's time to assemble the real brain of the iPhone, its motherboard. This key piece is assembled on automated lines where high precision machines place and solder millions of micro components a day. We are talking about chips so tiny that many of them are practically invisible to the naked eye. The processor, memory, network chips, charging circuits, and all those elements that allow the iPhone to function smoothly are integrated into each board. Then, operators take care of the most delicate details, connectors, flexible cables, and the haptic engine, that small vibration system that reacts with every touch or notification. Next comes the battery, designed to withstand hundreds of charge cycles without losing power. 
Before being installed, each one undergoes automated electrical tests, and only if it passes them is it fixed in place with precision machinery. Finally, the rear cameras are placed. These modules are capable of capturing 12 million pixels and recording in 4K at 60 frames per second. Laser technology is used to align them, because even a minimal deviation could ruin a photo. And so, in just a few square centimeters, the iPhone already has its brain, its battery, and its eyes working together. Now it's time to seal everything and give it shape. Step number four, closing the casing. With all the internal components already assembled and working, it's time to seal the iPhone and give it its iconic final appearance. First, the two halves of the device, the aluminum back and the front with the screen, are aligned with micrometer precision in a precision machine. Here, optical sensors verify that there isn't a single grain of dust between the layers before closing it. Then, robotic arms apply controlled pressure to join both parts, ensuring that the seal is perfect and that the phone maintains its resistance to water and dust. Afterward, the screwing process begins. Specialized robots insert up to 30 microscrews, all calibrated to apply exactly the same force. The iPhone's screws are so unique that they cannot be removed with a common screwdriver. This is done to prevent unauthorized repairs and protect its internal design. Once sealed, the chassis undergoes an anodizing and chemical polishing process, which gives it its characteristic color and that premium finish. Whether matte, glossy, or metallic, it also protects it from scratches and corrosion. This finish is not just aesthetic. It also represents the quality standard of a device that in its highest version can cost up to $1,500. Every screw, every joint, and every curve has to be impeccable. Finally, a laser machine engraves the serial numbers, certifications, and the mythical Apple logo on the back. And with this, the iPhone is completely assembled and sealed. But it's not yet ready to reach your hands. First, it must pass rigorous quality tests. Let's go see it. Step number five, quality testing. With the iPhone assembled, it's time to put it to the test. Each unit undergoes more than 50 automatic and manual checks to ensure that everything works perfectly. First, the screen is verified. Every touch and gesture must respond instantly, and Face ID must recognize faces even with glasses or in low light. Afterward, speakers and microphones are checked, measuring their clarity and power. Then come the toughest tests, water and dust resistance, with pressure jets and humidity chambers, and also controlled drop tests, dropping the iPhone from different heights and angles to check its resistance. Finally, connectivity is evaluated. The iPhone enters special chambers that simulate 5G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS networks, verifying that each antenna works flawlessly. Only if it passes all the tests is that iPhone ready to enter its iconic white box and be shipped to all Apple stores. Step number six, packaging. We have reached the last step before the iPhone goes out into the world. Robotic arms place a protective film on the screen and the back of the phone, protecting it from scratches and dust during transport. Then, the iPhone advances along the packaging line and falls perfectly inside its iconic minimalist white box, where the charging cable and instruction manuals are already waiting, all organized down to the millimeter. Next, the box is automatically closed and wrapped in heat-sealed plastic, ensuring that no one has opened it before. Each box receives a unique label with its serial number, which allows tracking that iPhone from the factory to your hands. Although the entire process is automated, operators supervise each phase, ready to act in the event of any incident or failure on the line. Finally, the boxes are grouped on large pallets, stacked and wrapped for protection. Each pallet is scanned and digitally registered, adding another level of control in this impressive production chain. And so, each iPhone is now packaged, protected, and ready for its journey to the stores. Step number seven, global distribution. With the iPhones packaged and ready, a real logistical race begins. Every day, more than half a million iPhones leave the factory bound for over 100 countries around the world. From China alone, Apple ships more than 30 weekly cargo flights filled exclusively with phones. Did you know that the iPhone is the most exported electronic product by air in the entire planet? In less than 72 hours, a newly manufactured iPhone can already be on display in a store in New York, Paris, or Tokyo. A perfectly timed journey that connects a factory in China with millions of people worldwide. And there you have it, a small, elegant, and minimalist device. But behind it, 
one of the largest, most precise, and complex production and logistics chains on the planet. Now that you know everything that goes into an iPhone, tell us, did you imagine this whole process? Are you one of those who uses an iPhone? Leave your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel to discover more impressive manufacturing processes.